Hi, I'm Colette and I'm a Customer Success Manager at Yammer. Our goal is to provide a social network that enables your employees and your teams to connect and collaborate in a real-time environment. I'm going to walk you through some of the basic features of Yammer and demonstrate how you can use an enterprise social network to tackle company objectives. Whether that's transforming your business, accelerating team collaboration, enhancing employee engagement, or building out a social internet. So let's get right to it. As consumers, you've gotten used to sophisticated technology. It requires no training and it's easy to use. Yammer brings this familiar interface to your work life and it will make getting up to speed on Yammer fast and easy. First, add in your expertise, location, and contact information for the rest of your organization to see. It is also very important to have a profile picture. Adding a picture allows people to put a name to your face. Now that other employees and thought leaders in your company can find you, let's go to where you can observe the conversations that are happening in your network. My feed is where Yammer navigates to by default and can be thought of as your home page. Let's talk about conversations. You may want to start one asking for help on a project that you're working on today. So you can post a message directly from the My Feed in the publisher. By default, Yammer is set to send a basic update to your followers, but from here, you can also post to a specific group. Most likely, you are part of a team. We found that using Yammer groups increases transparency and collaboration. Have you ever wondered what the rest of your team is working on? Or have you ever found out that you were working on the exact same thing as someone else and thought, well, we could have done that together? Well, here at Yammer, we found that working together in groups is useful for collaborating across geography and departments. You will find groups on the left-hand side of the screen. Click on My Groups to see the active groups in your network. Make sure that you look for groups that are relevant to you. And if you don't see a group that fits, then simply make one. Click Create New Group and fill out the prompt. If you haven't joined a group yet, check out the groups in your network. For example, I'm not part of this group, so I'll join it. After you join a group, it will show up on the left-hand side of the screen and the groups you interact with the most will be at the top to help you stay organized. You'll notice that if you start working closer with another group, Yammer will intuitively change its ranking so that you always have the most pertinent information and coworkers close at hand. Our customers typically use groups for the following reasons. For collaborating with team members on a project, engaging other coworkers by asking for help on a challenge, aligning your team on best practices, and finally, for communicating about a topic that you feel your entire team would benefit from knowing. If you want to involve specific people in a conversation, you can use Yammer to do so very easily. At mentioning coworkers, notifies them that there is something you want them to see or comment on. Not only will they receive a notification on their Yammer account, but they will also receive an email. You can also notify someone by using the Add People to Notify button below your message. Sharing and collaborating on information in groups is a great way to work with your team. Sometimes, you will have a need for multiple people to jump on and collaborate simultaneously. That's when we use pages. At Yammer Sales, reps use pages to share information on how they are building solutions for customers. Marketing uses pages to build communication documents. Training uses pages to help new hires onboard faster through checklists so that every new hire feels empowered from day one. To create a page, simply navigate to the group you'd like the page to be in and click the Create Page button on the right-hand side of the screen. Invite others to work with you. You can publish the page and have a conversation around it by going to the publisher below. It will automatically attach the page to your message, so you just need to click Update, and that message will go to the group feed. By now, you've seen how using groups and pages promotes team collaboration. A question you may be asking, how do I keep track of everything? The Yammer inbox will store all of the conversations that are relevant to you. This includes private messages, any conversations you have participated in, as well as announcements. Within your inbox, you will see messages sorted by read and unread with the unread messages at the top. 
This way you can easily see what you should pay attention to first. By clicking into the message, you can see the entire conversation. Well, let's say that message doesn't relate to you. You can just unfollow it. You can easily send messages within your inbox by clicking on the Create Message button. Once you click Create Message, a light box will appear and you are given the choice between a private message or posting to a group. If you have one person you're trying to reach or some confidential information, send a private message. Otherwise, post to a group. You can choose one of the groups you belong to and you can also attach a file from here, just as you would do from the MyFeed. The social internet must facilitate real-time communication. Yammer helps you get in front of people immediately via Online Now. Online Now shows the people you interact with the most. Use the search bar to find anyone on your network and send them a message. While Inbox gives you the ability to store conversation, what if you just want to look for something within Yammer? If you're looking for a group, a file, a page, or a conversation, use Yammer Search to see what people have shared before. You'll find an amazing amount of content growing every day, and Yammer Search allows you to be productive by giving you easy access across all the information in your network. So today we touched on employee engagement, business transformation, enhancing collaboration, and building an internet that's truly social. We look forward to showing you more about Yammer's features and capabilities in the future. Thanks for watching.